hi uh, welcome back I'm Marek Mulacic and welcome to another video and this time we're going to talk about exporting from After Effects and producing an mp4 file you know you've been working on something like I've been working on this low effects animation here and I want to export it I should be aware if you've been using After Effects uh, the background color that you see here doesn't really exist but anyway so I want to export it and I want to maybe put it somewhere like on social media for example and for the web for the social media you need an mp4 file okay so if so as you probably know in After Effects there are two ways you can export so one of them is to export using render queue this will export straight from After Effects Okay, I'm going to make a separate video on the render queue, but for now I just want to show you if I do at the render queue, and if I click in here, it's just going to make an MOV file. Okay, it doesn't make anything else. So, if we want to make an MP4 file, we need to use the second option where we're going to send it to Adobe Media Encoder. First of all, make sure you have your composition selected. So just click on your timeline or click on the composition panel. Just go File, Export, Add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. This is going to launch Adobe Media Encoder. Now this may take a moment depending on the machines, depending on what you're running, but this will launch Media Encoder automatically. And when Media Encoder opens, so mine is launching already, and when it opens, it's going to add this uh, composition to the render queue and it's going to show in the render queue here in the queue automatically so we'll give it a moment and it will show here normally by default a mid encoder will make an mp4 file so normally you wouldn't need to change anything but just to double check some of the settings in here so by default it's going to use the h264 which is a codec not the file format it's actually the name of the codec but this codec creates an mp4 file and that's what you do want to use for mp4 files now there's lots of options in here available but we're just focusing on h264 at the moment uh, with the preset this would normally be on much source high bitrate and this will be just perfect this will be just fine okay and on the output file you can choose where you want to save it what you want to call it so i'm going to click on it and i'll select the desktop and i'm going to put it right on the desktop my lower thirds, that's fine, mp4 file, perfect, so I'll click save. Once you have all the settings, uh, you can use the render button here, but just one more thing I want to show you just before we render this file. If you want to see what file size it's going to be, and maybe reduce the file size potentially, you can click on the name of the preset, and this will give you a dialog box, which you may have seen in Premiere, because you get exactly the same, well, you used to get exactly the same dialog box in Premiere because the export dialog box in Premiere has been redesigned a, a couple of months ago. And here, the main thing we're going to focus at the moment is in the bottom right corner, you see the file size. So I'm getting seven megabytes for this file. Okay. You can also access the presets in here. So for example, if you want a smaller file size, you could go for medium bit, right? So now I'm getting two megabytes. Okay. Just make this a little bit smaller so we can see better. And once you get, a sm say, get a preview here as well, so I can just have a look at what this is going to look like. Looks the same, pretty much the same. I can't see any difference. Okay, so I'm just going to click OK here. Well, actually, because it's only seven megabytes by default, I'll stick to the high bitrate. It's only seven megabytes. It's nothing. So I'll click OK. And back in here, just so you know, when you click the render button or start queue button, you will get a preview here in the bottom right corner in the encoding section there. And you see the progress bar as well. Uh, Media encoder will also take advantage of your GPU acceleration, of your graphics card acceleration, which is great. Okay. This may improve the render speed. Yeah. And all, so I'm going to click on the screen, play button here. We'll get a preview here and the progress bar. And when it's done, you get a great tick here. 
So you can go to the destination and open the file. Now, if you're not sure, if you don't remember where you saved it, <laughs> if you're still in the media encoder, you can click on this link here and this will take you to where the file is. So mine is right on the desktop here. And I could just double click to play it, to preview. Here we go, looks great, nice, smooth. Here we go. And that's our MP4 file. So if I close media encoder, I uh, just want to mention one more thing. <clears throat> If you're exporting from After Effects and you send in the video to Media Encoder to produce an MP4 file, if it fails, which happens sometimes when it's connecting to the, with Dynamic Link, try to open Media Encoder first. Because I've heard from some people that it wouldn't launch Media Encoder, they would just get an error message from After Effects. So try to open Media Encoder first. And then go to After Effects and then use what we did before, File export, add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. Okay, and that's how you can produce MP4 files from uh, After Effects. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching and hopefully see you soon in another video. I'm Marek Mulacic from MarekMulacic.com and if you have any questions, if you have any comments, just leave the comments in the video below. If you haven't already, please subscribe as well. So thank you for watching and see you soon in another video. Bye-bye for now.